Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today I want to share items that I currently own that if given the opportunity to repurchase or to add them back into my collection because of this, that, or the other, I wouldn't. I guess you can say I have somewhat of a love-hate relationship with them and they do tend to drive me crazy from time to time. None of these items are on the chopping block, but I wanted to discuss them further. If you enjoy this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? First up, this guy. This is a Chanel card holder. I don't know the exact name of it, but this one is in the black lambskin leather with the champagne gold hardware. It does have one exterior pocket and on the interior, you do have a few other credit card slots slash slip pockets, but I do love this item. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that it's compact. I love the gorgeous lambskin leather because it is very, very soft. And I also think it's a great idea for a wallet, but to be completely honest with you, the reason why it drives me nuts every time I go to use it is because it constantly opens up on its own. It's always like this. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to wallets, I'm the type of person or this item has really, um, you know, kind of brought me to this conclusion that I'm the type of person that needs to have a little bit of added security, whether it's a snap button closure or a zipper closure or something like that. So I used to have my driver's license here and my credit cards here, but it would always open up like this or sometimes it would actually get caught underneath something else that I had inside of my handbag. So it, no matter what, it was always like this. And I don't overstuff it either, you know? So sometimes I'd go to use just the minimal items inside of my wallet, and other times I'd have a little bit more, but it didn't matter. It was always just constantly opened up. I think that for this item, I mostly will end up using it, actually I'm going to be using it mostly with my smaller handbags. That way I know not only will my items not get caught, but um, there's really no there's really no space for it to open up. Uh, but I think it is absolutely gorgeous, and they have so many beautiful colors. But like I said, when it comes to the overall style, the overall design of this item, it hasn't really uh, worked out for me. But I will always find a different way to try to use my items. The next ones that I want to share with you are insanely gorgeous, and yes, you will hear that quite a bit throughout this video because even though these items drive me nuts from time to time, I think that they're beautiful nonetheless, uh, but I am talking about these bad boys. These are the Dior Tribal Earrings in the faux pearl with the gold hardware. I picked them up last year. I was so excited to add them to my collection because I had been wanting them for a very long time, uh, and um, I had a lot of questions on these when I did my reveal video, and I think I even talked about them on a favorites video. And I had a lot of questions, um, you know, from you guys asking if they were comfortable or if I had any problems with them or anything like that. And in the beginning, they were very, very comfortable. I had no issues with them whatsoever. But I started to notice that the more and more that I used them, especially for extended periods of time, then I would start to kind of feel their weight a little bit more and I would end up getting crazy, crazy bad headaches. And they're not, I mean, they're not crazy heavy or anything like that. They're somewhat lightweight. They're just not as lightweight as other earrings. Uh, so I made the mistake of wearing them to a wedding once and uh, we all know weddings, they can run for forever, especially when it comes to the reception. But I was excited about my outfit. I was like, oh yeah, I'm wearing these. I look super cute, blah, blah, blah. But um, as, the, as the reception kind of kept going, I started to notice that I was getting a really, really intense headache. And you know, I didn't, I didn't think it was the shoes that I was wearing. I didn't think it was anything like that. But I noticed that once I got home and I took these off, my headache wasn't as intense as it was at the reception. You know what I mean? So that to me was kind of a bummer. So I do have to be very careful whenever I go to wear these. Um, you know, like I said, I can wear them for two, three hours, no problem. But anything after that, that's when I start to feel um, the weight a little bit more. So unfortunately, they're not the most comfortable for myself, uh, you know, and I know everyone's uh, earlobes might be a little bit more sensitive or not as sensitive as mine, but um, for long, long periods of time, these give me, I mean, killer, killer headaches to the point of almost a migraine. So they're not the funnest to, uh, to get away with. So <laughs> these beauties are, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the simplicity that they have. And they have so many different colors to choose from and they have so many different details that they add to them. But I think that if I was to ever go for Dior earrings uh, ever again, I would definitely go for something a little bit smaller. 
So the Dior tribal earrings and the faux pearl with the gold hardware. The next item, since we are talking about fashion jewelry, I thought it would be a perfect time to bring it up. Uh, but these are definitely not going to be a surprise, especially if you've been watching my channel for a while. I talked about them a little bit more in depth on a previous Minx Monday. Uh, but they are the Chanel earrings. I love Chanel earrings, and uh, I have either six or seven pairs that I've gotten throughout the years. Uh, but unfortunately, I haven't had the best experiences with them. And I know some of you guys have had no issues with them whatsoever, and I think that's awesome. But unfortunately, for me, I haven't had the best success, especially with the ones that have the crystals or that have uh, embellishments uh, like these. All of the stones ended up falling off, and I decided to take crazy glue to them and add as, as many stones that I possibly could back onto them just to kind of try to revive them a bit. Uh, so all the stones fell off on these, and I was well past the time frame in order to get them repaired without, um, without it being an extra fee. And I also have this pair, um, I have the other one down here, but this one I had to get completely uh, replaced because two of these little faux pearls ended up like kind of popping off and um, I had another pair that I had to get completely uh, repaired. So just, you know, with the, with the whole non-success rate that I've had or with the, with the bad success rate that I've had with these earrings, uh, I just decided to completely just stay away from them. And in the event, in the crazy event that I went into the boutique and I saw something and I was just like, okay, forget it, just go for it no matter what, um, I know that I wouldn't go for a pair of earrings that has any type of crystals or any type of embellishments. I'd go for something Something kind of like this, something that's very, very simple that I don't have to worry that the stone is going to pop off or it's going to fall off and then I have to go into the boutique to get it repaired or replaced uh, because if I go to get it repaired, if it's after the one year, then um, they, it can get a little bit expensive considering the price point that the earrings are already. But uh, even as I say this, to be completely honest with you, as much as I love them and even if my eyes were drooling, even if my eyes were drooling at the boutique where I was just like, okay, disregard your previous experiences, um, I know in my heart of hearts that I kind of don't want to go through that same through the same thing um, ever again. And moving forward, I see myself more so um, going towards fine jewelry. And with fine jewelry, I know that I might spend a little bit more, but at least I know that it's gold or I know that it has diamonds or something like that. So uh, I do love costume jewelry, and every time they have new collections come out, or they, you know, with each season they have so many different uh, jewelry pieces come out, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, these are stunning, these are gorgeous, and I do get very, very tempted to just, like I said before, to just kind of disregard what I've, um, you know, the, the experiences that I've had in the past, but um, they are, they are absolutely beautiful, and I love the details that they have, uh, but just, I mean, three out of the six or seven pairs of earrings that I've had that, you know, that I've had to get repaired just doesn't really have the best track record, you know what I mean? So Chanel earrings are another one that I don't foresee myself um, adding to my collection ever again. The next item is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. I decided to insert a picture of the monogram one because I do have the multicolor and that one has since been discontinued, but just in case you guys want to check it out on the website, that's why I inserted the monogram one, if that makes any sense. Uh, but at one point in time, I had four of these in my collection, the multicolor that I have, and I also um, had the uh, monogram, the Demi Zor, and the Demi Ben, and I was crazy about the small leather good. I liked the shape that it had because it made it so easy to be able to carry, um, to carry four to five lipsticks no problem, and you guys know I'm a lipstick junkie so it made it really easy to carry those plus my compact uh, and sometimes I would use it as a clutch as well when I had my older <laughs> my older phone I would be able to fit it in there uh, but I really liked it and uh, the main reason why I decided to sell the other three and just keep the one that I have uh, and the only reason why I don't sell the one that I have or why I haven't gotten rid of it as well is because I have mad mad love for multicolor it's actually the last multicolor piece that I have in my collection and it has a special place in my heart. Uh, but I don't foresee myself ever adding uh, this type of style to my collection ever again, just because of um, just because of the, the silhouette that it has. Even though it's great for lipsticks, it starts to wear very, very easily on the corners. And I started to notice that with all three, uh, all of the other three prints that I had, like I said, those ones I use a lot more than the one that I currently own, but it just starts to wear a little too close for comfort for myself. So when it comes to lipsticks or when it comes to 
cosmetic pouches, I much rather go for the toiletry 19 or for the toiletry 15, um, just because you have three separate pieces of canvas that's that make up the item versus just one that's kind of folded on the corners where it will end up wearing. You know what I mean? So um, if I have a picture of one of the old um, the old cosmetic pouches that I had uh, with the wear, I'll kind of insert it here. but that's just what ended up happening. So I know that every time they come out with new collections and they always try to incorporate it with the cosmetic pouch, but just because of the, the fact that it's kind of folded and it's one continuous piece of canvas is great, but at the same time, it doesn't necessarily wear the best. So I'd much rather go for something that has three separate pieces like the toiletry that I was talking about or a completely different fashion house, but I think that they're beautiful nonetheless. The next item I promise I won't spend too much time on and it definitely won't be a surprise especially if you've been watching my channel for a while and I probably have the most intense love-hate relationship with this bag but I'm happy to say I found a new way to carry it that absolutely works for me um, but as I said in the beginning if given the opportunity to repurchase this bag whether it's a different color a different size or different what have you I still wouldn't end up doing it and that is the Chanel Le Boy bag I think this is a beautiful bag. This is in the new medium size with the aged calfskin and the ruthenium hardware. And I just love the details that it has. I like the fact that it's very edgy. It's something very different from what I have in my collection right now. So it kind of stands out on its own. But when push comes to shove, this chain is a freaking nightmare, you know? So that's why I started to carry it this way. I have the leather part on the bottom here and I haven't had any issues with it wearing. I like if, you know, I thought I was gonna have indentations, but so far, so good but that way I just have the metal part on the very top it makes it so much easier for me to carry it this way but if I had to repurchase it all over again or add it back into my collection I definitely wouldn't but like I said I have that intense love-hate relationship I love to hate it but I don't I, I can't see myself ever getting rid of it either so <laughs> that's why I didn't want to spend too much time because you guys are probably like Minnie shut up nobody cares you talk about this bag all the time but it works out with the way that I decided to set it up. So a huge thank you to my sales associate for, um, for kind of getting me over that hump, but it makes it so much, so much easier to carry it that way. So the Chanel Le Boy bag in the new medium size, the old medium size, whatever size, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a bag that I wouldn't uh, add to my collection again. The next item might surprise some of you, especially since I use it quite a bit whenever we travel, but that is the Louis Vuitton Keepall 55 Bandolier. The 55 is actually the largest size that you can use as a carry-on, and I think it's great if you're going on a really long trip, you know, anywhere from seven to 10 days or 15 days. It depends on the, on the destination, because if you're going somewhere warmer, you can definitely get away with carrying a lot of items in here. Quite a few outfits, some shoes, no problem. Problem. Uh, but the main reason when it comes to this bag or with this, with this key ball um, as to why I wouldn't um, add it to my collection again is because it can get very, very heavy very, very quickly. And it could be the fact that I kind of view it as an Everfull. Sometimes with me, the bigger the item is, the more I try to fit in there, you know, and then by the end of it, I'm carrying around this big old brick. And even though this is the bandolier and it does have that strap, so it helps to distribute the weight a little bit more, you can still end up feeling it on your shoulder. So whenever you're, whenever we're at the airport, I have this gigantic key ball, you know, even if I have, even if it's not overstuffed, I can still feel the weight of it, if that makes any sense. So I have the 55, then I have my handbag here, or I have another another carry on here and it just makes for it makes for a whole lot going on you know and if we have to go from one end of the airport to another the last thing that I want is to be carrying around this big old key ball with all of my stuff I don't know sometimes um, I think that the 45 is perfect for weekend getaways or for long getaways um, or long weekends, I should say. I actually did a packing video on it if you guys are interested. I'll either put it at the end of this video or in the description box below if you wanted to check it out. But the 45 is great for those long weekends. And the 50, I mean, the 50 is, is it's like the best of both worlds because it's not as big as the 55, but you can still carry 
um, quite a bit in there and it's not too small either you know what I mean so I think that the 50 is a really great size um, and it's not too bulbous it's not too overwhelming because it might not seem like it's the biggest difference between the 50 and the 55 it's only what those five centimeters but it feels like a world of difference at least to me anyways so this guy I mean <laughs> it's it's kind of overwhelming you know so uh, the hubby uses this one for his items which makes it a whole lot easier uh, that way I don't have to carry it too often uh, but uh, I think that the 45 or the 50 are great when it comes to key balls just because the 55 is just a tad too big and then the 60 is definitely um, is definitely a lot bigger but uh, yeah this bad boy this bad boy can get very very heavy very very quickly but maybe it's just me maybe it's the fact that I end up just trying to fit everything in the kitchen sink whenever we travel you know you never know uh, but anyways that does it for my um, my love-hate relationship with these items or items that I wouldn't add again to my collection I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to give you a little bit of information if you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. I would love to know if there's items in your collections that you love, but you don't see yourself adding them ever again if something were to happen, or even if they were on sale. It's something that you would just kind of uh, stay away from. But if you want to, let us know in the comment section down below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.